you know, I'd seen a lot of the designs Axel has done in the past for, for Waldorf and for the Creamware guys and for, and for you guys. Yeah. So I think what happens is when you buy any software-based instrument, what you really do is you buy the sort of the, the brain trust of the designers because w without their point of view, it's just just another computer in a box. Right. And Axel was going after a lot of the stuff that I'm interested in, which is, you know, basically something that is tactile, easy to control, fun to play with, and uh, and makes crazy sounds. You know, I, I didn't need another thing that was, uh, you know, trying to replicate a perfect piano sound. You know, I mean, every box can do that. I wanted something that, in, in a way, couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. It's not like you can listen out for it and know, oh, hey, that's the neuron. Mm -hmm. I, th I, think, I think one of the problems, you know, things like the D50 had, or a lot of the FM stuff was, that you could instantly identify it. You know, the, the, the neuron is, much, is, is far more flexible, or, uh, you know, and far more, you know, you, you can actually put your own um, personality into it, and I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> You know, for, for, for film composers, 5.1 isn't a bad thing, you know, and, and it was the, uh, the, the, you know, Axel was already thinking, thinking in that way, which probably to the rest of the music industry um, was thinking ahead, and to me it was just like not lagging quite behind, you know. <laughs> right, right. Because um, that's my world, you know, I, I feel bereft, I don't think the stuff sounds good unless I have the surrounds going, mm -hmm. you know. The CD is always anticlimactic. Right. Look, look, my dad was an inventor, so I grew up with the trials and tribulations, you know, people go through trying to actually come up with a new idea. Right, and then um, getting it to market. And getting it to market. And, and you know, yeah, l l l like all good obsessive people, he put all his effort into it completely, uh, you know, had no idea how long this was going to take, and it always takes longer than you think. Mm -hmm. And I know that, and right. he knows that, but still, you know, what is that? That, you know, how long is that piece of string? Right. So, so, so I just, you know, I just decided I'm going to help him out so he can, he can at least have a go at um, really finishing it. You know, I mean, this sounds really crazy, but it's fun to play with. You know, part of what is great about it is, is, is its unpredictability. But then, ha hang on a second, I did like FM as well when it first came out because <laughs> I never had an idea what anything would do. But, you know, sort of as, as, soon, as soon as you stop trying to imitate real instruments, it became interesting, uh -huh. you know. And, and, and if you bought into the idea that, you know, great accidents will happen and, and, and magic comes out of not knowing what you're doing, you know. Mm -hmm. Just just go on the adventure. Right, right. You know. Sometimes I just need to stop sitting there and write and I can just go over and potter around on it. Mm -hmm. And it just gives me ideas. I might not even use the sound of it, but it, it, it just distracts me enough that, that, you know, I get over whatever hurdle I'm on, you know. Right, right. Um, Clay Duncan, you know, one of our writers here, I mean, he's using it all the time right now. I mean, it's, it, um, he's working uh, with Steve Jablonski on a television series called Threat Matrix, and it's all over that. So, I, I, t I tell you, the, the team here was using it quite heavily on, on Bad Boys 2, um, which, which had a very, you know, which needed a lot of sort of weirdness mm -hmm. attached to it. And, and, and the movie was shot in that way. What do I gravitate to all the time? For instance, uh, basic stuff. You know, um, Super Jupiter is still a favorite. Mm -hmm. You know, the big old Moog is still a favorite. Um, this thing is a favorite because it's original. Mm -hmm. um, you know, th then, then we have the whole plethora of soft synths. I tell you what I like very much at the moment is the new CS80 Arturia. We're, we're actually, uh, we sell a lot of those on, online. Right, well, I, th I thought you might. I mean, um, you know, and, and, and I gave them a quote, you know, which is this is the truth. I, you know, hey, th there it was. 
I got rid of the GX1, you know, <laughs> because one I can actually use on a on a daily basis. Um, the other one is a boat anchor. <laughs> well, that's true. That was the biggest complaint. Right. When people had to schlep right. that around, yeah.